G'day everyone, welcome back to Virtual Reality. I'm Jazza, the V artist. See, on this channel, I try every form of art I possibly can, be it drawing, sculpture, and today, martial arts and the art of war are no exception. Check it out, I'm actually in virtual reality. This is my battle room, combat room thing. Check out my uh, lovely floorboards. Just been recently sanded and, and varnished, polished, whatever people do to floorboards. <laughs> <laughs> Just practicing martial arts. This is my V Artist T now available on Teespring and it's only for a limited time. So if you like the V Artist, now V Art -y shenanigans, check it out. We have it in two types. We have the tearing through your shirt type and the God damn it, PJ! <laughs> then we have the regular VR logo. So if you don't want it to tear through the shirt, but you just want to wear the suit, that's available too. Again, limited time. So if you like the whole V Artist thing, go check it out. So support to the channel. Let's Jump into some combat. All right, this is my battle planning station. We have the arena, we have the ruins, or we have the market. Let's go to the arena. All right, to start off with, we have a variety of choices, but I want to start off quite simple because martial arts can be quite complicated. So our first choice will be telekinesis. There you go. It's quite simple. Just do what I did and, and you'll be able to do it yourself. All right, let's jump into battle and I'll show you how to, how to use this thing. Oh god! Just wait, let me stab you. Okay, so if someone comes at you with a big bloody sword and you've got a little dagger, it's okay, that's no worries. You could you could just dodge their their swings and you can block their their big sword with your little with your little thing. Ah, ah god damn! It's alright, let me do I'll just try that again. You ready? Ah oh, god just can you slow down a little bit? Let me just show you how to block a a, a slash. Block again. Off! God! And that's how it's done. Oh, you're, you're here for more, are you? Wait, are you guys related? Because I could swear that... Never mind. Alright. So here's how you block an attack. Oh, that's me. I'm dead. See, that's, uh, that's my corpse. Okay, uh, I learned something. Daggers aren't good for blocking. That's okay. We, we know that now. Let's try again, but this time we strike. Oh, hey, hey, hey there, buddy. <laughs> yep, there you go. <laughs> yep, that's, how, that's how you use a day. That's better. That's much better. You saw what I did to your buddy. Don't think I won't do that to you. Oh, I just blocked him with a dagger! <laughs> and now we strike! And now we strike! Strike! Oh, oh God. <laughs> that's how it's done. Oh, God, there's more people. Oh, God! I wasn't ready. I wasn't ready. Oh, God. Can I grab you? Oh, I got you by the neck. Oh, I just missed. Okay, my aim's not great, admittedly. Get in there. Get in there. There we, there we go. It takes a, a deft, deft touch. There we go. Okay. All right. All right. I see you're here to join my pile of corpses. Hey, you want to try that again? Yeah, that's what I thought. I'm sorry, ma'am. I'm sorry. Sorry, this hurts me more than it hurts. That's not true. This definitely hurts you more. <laughs> I'm nearly dead. We haven't got much left in us. So this is going to require all the stamina and finesse and accuracy that we... I'm dead. That's my corpse. I think the solution to what we just experienced is a little bit of distance. Hmm? All right, we're gonna stay on the same difficulty, but as soon as I hit start, I'm gonna run back to a quarter because I keep getting surrounded when I stay in here. <laughs> All right, go! Did I press start? I, no. No, I did! I did press start! Ah! I wasn't ready! Just wait, just wait, just wait. There we go. Just wait, just wait, just wait, just wait. There we go. Thank you. See the arrow in the face? That's Bozeman shit right there. Uh, oh, god damn. You dodgy bastard. There we go. Arrows in the face. That's, I think that's the strategy. Oh, god. Just wait. Just give me your face. Thank you. See, they make it easy for you. They're so polite. Oh, no. I'm out of arrows. Ah. Uh, sword. Sword. And dagger. Aha. Okay. I need more arrows. I need more arrows. 
I need more arrows. Is that it? I think I killed them all. So I hope you enjoyed our first round of tuition, starting off with the very light weapons. What did we learn? We don't block with them, though it's possible, by very skilled artisans. But it's more of a stabby stabby thing. What else did we learn? We learned that the bow and arrow are fantastic for shooting people in the face with. Especially if they lend you their face. But that's the beginner stuff out of the way, now let's get to the more intermediate stuff. Shielded combat. And with an axe. Now the cool thing about an axe is you see how it's got the hooky end here? When we fight enemies, we can actually use the hooky end to grab their weapons and and pull them around like that. See what I'm doing there? You just pull it. Don't you love this channel? And while we're talking about intermediate combat tactics, we're also going to talk about using high ground to defeat your opponents. Having the high ground is obviously going to be a huge advantage, especially when you're attacking a town of innocent people. Let's go. All right, we're going to ramp it up to medium difficulty because we're at our medium level of expertise now. And let's get the high ground. Let's get up here. Oh, he's, he's Russian. You're Russian. Slow down. Slow down. Not Russian as in like, hello, I'm Russian, but like rushing... To, oh, there we go. Remember what I said about pulling weapons? See, so you just pull them and they can't do jack. Come here, come here. See, look at this. Ah, you're incapacitated. Ah, oh, I lost my axe. Give me my axe back. No! Oh, I'm dead. That was pretty good, but obviously I was a bit distracted by sharing all the advice with you guys as we went. So I'm just going to repeat that wave again, but this time focus again. Let's apply those two things that we've been discussing. High ground and then snatching things with your axe. Obviously the shield was very useful, but then you have to be careful because as much as the axe is useful to snatch things, it can also be caught in things. Let's do it. Let's go to the upper ground, people. Let me show you why upper ground is worth what? <laughs> Bitch! This is my house! Hey, 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 how you doing? I like the view. The view down there. <laughs> Why don't you just stay down there? Oh, you just climbed up. You know my tactics. Naughty, 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 naughty. What did I say about staying down? All right, see there's high ground up there. I'm gonna go up there. How's this for high ground, huh? Hello? I'm ready to... I'm ready to fight. I think I slaughtered them all. That means I've won. Ha! Let's head on back to our uh, little armory over here, shall we? Okay, prepare yourself because now we're about to get Advanced. <laughs> okay. It's stuck. There we go. Okay. So, shield and spear. This is where we get a little bit more tricky, right? Let me explain. You see, the spear could be held like this or like this. Stabby, stabby, right? And not just that. Let's say you lose your bloody shield. That's all right. I've got two hands. You see that? That's called control. That's called expert precision. And speaking of expert, I think it's about time we uh, go hard or go home. High ground, high ground, high ground. Oh, there's someone already at the high ground. It's okay, because I got my shield. Oh, there's someone behind me and I'm sort of stuffed. I'm, so I'm in trouble. Oh, this is tricky. This is tricky, this is hard. Hence the hard mode. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I dropped my spear. Can you just stay still while I stab you with this thing? How did that not get you? That got you! Stuff this, little joke! I'm gonna punch you! Come here! Yeah, 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 come here! Oh, that worked! I actually punched her! I actually punched her! I punched her in the throat! Oh, you know what that means? There's an ultimate expert level. Let's do it. Alright, it's expert time. Hand to hand combat, baby. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's brilliant! Death by bucket! Hey, how you doing, buddy? And stay out! Oh. <laughs> she tripped over the tip. Is that everyone? That's everyone! Ha! Huh. With my bare friggin' hands. That means there's only one thing left to do. I'm gonna jump to the final level and like the ultimate epic martial arts demonstration, but uh, turns out I did all of that without ever looking at the tutorial or instructions. Check it out. You can slow time. Oh, you can throw weapons. You can use axes and swords and spears as ranged weapons. Oh, and there's, there's magic. Let's give this spell thing a go, shall we? Hey. Lightning. I have all 
ultimate power! Alright, hard. We're gonna go through all three waves. I'm gonna start off with no weapons. Take you through to the very end. <laughs> oh, that's satisfying. Who'd have thought that shield and punch was the best weapon combination in combat? <laughs> Let's try this throwing weapon thing, shall we? No, oh, that doesn't work. Hey! Oh! Hey! 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 Now, I think that's a pretty clear demonstration of my battle finesse. But I think to conclude, we should fight with the most powerful weapon of all. The power of love. Ain't no mountain high enough. Ain't no valley low enough. Oh, hi. Oh, hi there. Hey, how you doing? How you doing? It's good to meet you. Hey, have you met my friend? Why don't you introduce yourself? Why don't you just, hey guys, why don't you just say hi to each other and, and be friends? How you doing? Oh, wait, wait. No, don't, don't be mean now. No, no. Let's, we need to be friends now, okay? So why don't you kiss and make up? Kiss and make up! Hey, let me show you the view up here. It's really nice. Hey, don't do that. Hey, 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 hey. Stop it, stop it, no! Oh, I died. No, okay, fair enough. Turns out the power of death and weaponry is way more powerful than love. And so, ladies and gentlemen, that brings us to the conclusion of my little combat demonstration here. I hope you've enjoyed it, and remember, those of you who have subscribed, hoping to see future videos of art and creativity, well, that is, of course, exactly what today has been, right? I've been very creative with how I've applied my skills to the art of combat and martial arts. There is not a single art, medium, or form I will not touch and will not become the master of. Because after all, Art is magic. Get it? Because I'm... Because I've got magic powers too. Oh, there is one thing I forgot to demonstrate. The power of telekinesis. I, I showed you how to use it, but I didn't explain it. Simply hold your hands forward and simply say in your head or out loud, Conjurus Merchus! <laughs> there we go. Telekinesis. Look at that, I've, I've bought my... I've summoned merchandise! I can't see how I'm holding it up because I'm wearing a headset. There we go! Hey look, there's no bloody difference! It's the same! So if you want to be like me, for some reason, <laughs> you can check out the limited edition run of the V Artist t-shirts. Like I said, it's uh, only going to be available for a very limited time because I wanted to make it available for you guys and also because I selfishly wanted this to wear if I'm not wearing the VR suit and I'm doing VR videos. I'll just repel it with my telekinesis. Thanks for watching ladies and gentlemen. I hope you've enjoyed it. Like, subscribe, all that crap. And until next time, I'll see you later. Make sure to subscribe to my channel to see more of my videos. And while you're at it, check out my shop where I sell ebooks, brushes, photo references, video courses, and more. There's another video you might enjoy from my channel over there. And you can also check out my behind the scenes daily vlog channel, Daily Jazza. That's it for now. And until next time, I'll see you later.